What is up guys, Power Bang here, bringing you guys another Clash of Clans video. Today we're in the hotel room in Helsinki and I've got three different Hog Rider armies at Town Hall 9 that are fantastic for destroying almost any kind of base. All right, guys, so this weekend we did have some CWL action versus Buy Forever for WHF and Mariana Trench for WHF 2. It was a bad weekend for the fam. Oh, we fell short in both cases, picking up a couple of L's, so big props to Buy Forever. Also to Mariana Trench for taking down the WHF fam this weekend in CWL action. Unfortunately, I didn't get a lot of footage from that. Uh, I am 10 hours behind where I am normally and then also busy with meetings and whatnot during the day, so I didn't get any footage. Uh, really wish they'd increase the 24-hour uh, little time limit after these friendly wars are, are had, but that didn't stop me from grabbing some awesome footage from COC Hog Wars, which is going on right now. We're looking at three Town Hall 9 armies today, all of which are using Hog Riders. This is the first one. We're going to be looking at the Queen Walk as part of this strategy. V is going to be bringing in a Queen here from the right. The goal is to walk her to uh, the bottom part of this map. Notice how the healers are dropped in that direction, so the Queen uh, is going to walk down. Notice the healers don't have to move. So what you're seeing there is instead of them getting an angle closer and closer to the wall where an air defense might perhaps shoot them down or they get you know aggro from an archer tower or something if you drop them in an angle where the queen's going to walk you're going to be much better off so the queen takes out this expo here that's the goal anyways and the fact that it's got room for double giant bombs potentially around that expo means that she wants to take out this expo uh, before the hog riders go in so here also going to be getting the queen taken down as part of this big walk. So the CC taken care of, the queen taken care of, the double giant bomb location taken care of. That is pretty much what you're looking to do uh, with the entry portion of a hog rider attack. Now, it's just a matter of getting some funneling done and uh, ultimately helping out, chipping away some of the defenses with the queen. Sends in the hogs from the top, and in this army, V has three heal spells here. The hogs are going to be going around the map. Drops the first one in that high density area with the Teslas. Um, very nice to protect the, uh, the hog riders up there. Another heal spell comes down around the bomb tower, and also for that giant bomb there, it's going to keep those hog riders going strong. Uh, a few of them left unhealed around the expo, but they are able to take it out. And then just surgically sending in uh, some, uh, look at that, CC hogs from the top, and they are going to join forces with the, the main group uh, from the outside. And really, the king just not able to hit them enough times to take them down before they work their way all the way through the base. Queen is still up on the far right side. Hog Riders turn, and they are going to ignore the king as he runs away. It's not going to matter, though. Uh, these Hog Riders are going to finish cleaning up this base. Beautiful raid here from V. Love the walk, guys, with those entries. Um, whether it's a Golem entry or a Queen walk, you got to make sure that you're taking care of the objectives uh, that you need to get taken care of prior to a raid. That is the CC kill. That is the Queen kill. And also taking care of any bomb locations that could be hazardous to your Hog's health later on in the raid. So that is the first raid here. Let's go ahead and take a look at... Dun, 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 dun. Let's look at 28, I think it was. That is not it. That is not hogs. Those are dragons. We've covered those enough over the last week. Time to spice it up a little bit, getting back to those ground troops. There we go. This is your second army of the day. This is the stoned hobo here. He's got three golems as part of this army. Instead of queen walking, he is going to use a double jump spell to not only get the objectives taken care of, but to push deep, deep into the base and also attract aggro deep on the far side of the base. So the hog riders really don't even need a heal spell as they push in. So notice this expo here. There's a compartment that lends itself nicely to a, heal, uh, a jump spell going over both compartment walls there. And that is going to get those troops into the core. So you'll see him start with the uh, uh, the golems going in. They all target the archer tower and eventually after the funnels created you see the wizards on both sides making sure that everything goes in. A couple extras deployed there to make sure the air defense goes down and the golems don't get distracted. There it is. Bowlers out of the clan castle. King is down as well. There is the CC lore. You're going to see a poison come down for that. Perhaps even two poison spells. We'll have to wait and see. Um, saves the second poison spell it looks like for perhaps some hog riders uh, worst nightmare skellies later on in the raid. So, Queen is down. Bowlers go ahead and get her taken care of. It looks like the second jump spell is down now as well. And notice how the kill squad pretty much takes care of the whole core of the base. The center portion is gone as well as, uh, you know, the, the far right side is also down as well. Um, Hogs come in from the back side. It leads with the giant. That giant is actually attracting the attention of the archer towers. Leads those hogs into, uh, 
you know, take out the last little defense on the, the backside of this base with no heal spell even needed. Hogs hop the wall here, get the expo taken down. Notice the golems, though, how they're sitting at the uh, the last part of this base. Unfortunately, they trigger the bombs there on top of some of the hogs, so not the, not the best move there by the golem, but notice how they're just tanking, and the hog riders are not even getting shot. Of course, one hog rider has to go over and trigger the, the bomb, but that's that. Uh, this attack is extremely strong. I feel like it's one of the strongest at Town Hall 9 right now, if not the strongest. That is your Stone Hobo. Three golems, double jump spell, getting that kill squad all the way through the base and making sure that you time the hogs so that they're starting to hit the defenses once the defenses are distracted by the golems and also the kill squad troops. So really nice job by Seven Mile there demonstrating that. Now, we do have a live attack. It is going to be, uh, it looks like 10 hitting 11, so we'll skip it. We've got two more to show, guys. These are going to be the same army, uh, but I'm going to show you guys a couple of different attacks with it because it's one that I haven't covered on the channel a whole lot. And this is the Shattered uh, Goho. Look at that. Hannah Allen, welcome to the channel. Brand new sub. Welcome to Banger Nation. Hannah Allen, mad props. You are today's subscriber of the day. So if you guys want to be a subscriber of the day or just want to join the Banger Nation for more Clash of Clans videos, hit that subscribe button. And if I am recording, you guys will catch it live here on the video on the top left portion of the screen. So wide set funnel here for these two golems. Look at the amount of wizards now on the outside. Those are definitely back in the meta. Wizards having uh, level six now at Town Hall nine makes them very viable. Funnel troops takes them like one extra shot when you group them up on a lot of buildings. So they're able to step up and actually take out these cannons and other uh, defenses on the outside pretty easily. So once those go down, the golems redirect. And if the jump spell is down, they will redirect to the core. So beautiful funneling efforts there by Lex Snows. Backs him up with the king and queen, as well as the, the wizards coming in from the sides. Now we've got a double poison spell down for the, or actually it looks like a single poison, down for the CC. And then we've got a wizard working his way down the side of the wall as well, out of range of everything else. So, so far, so good. So what have we gotten accomplished? CC, we've gotten the queen kill. We've also going to be taking out the double bombs here. Watch as the uh, golems go over the wall. Beautiful, beautiful entry. We also have the hog riders, the, uh, the CC hogs coming in from the left. You want to load up those max level hogs, guys, as they will help you build momentum and smash through the base. Beautifully done. All those hogs getting into heal spells there, kind of healing up, working their way through the last little section. Unfortunately, uh, the hogs here kind of uh, hit a bomb before they get healed all the way up. Those Teslas doing a number. Nothing paths over uh, to this Tesla right here. So they are going to eat a bomb at the very end while the king is beating on them. Uh, so luckily, he has saved two hog riders. He realizes, I will get through this defense. However, uh, I may not get through the king because right there, giant bomb happens and they eat the whole thing. It looks like the king is now going to be able to one-shot all of these guys. Shrink Trap hits at that. I mean, Shrink Trap? I don't know, man. Uh, how many of you guys have had the Shrink Trap screw up some of your raids this week? Uh, I know we have. Even in our war, there was a couple of attacks where it was like, Dude, are you kidding me? So he sends in the backside couple of hogs, gets it done. Beautiful job. Cleaning up that Town Hall 9. La or, yeah, yeah, the Town Hall 9. Uh, getting that done last for the three star instead of the one star 99%. Nice job to Lex Nose. We're going to watch one more attack using the exact same strategy. Luke Bradley getting taken out here by Emiliano 931. This is the double golem shattered Goho here. He's got the hog riders as well as 10 wizards. He starts off taking out the uh, builder hut in the corner on both sides. And now we've got uh, golems coming in from the right. Good spread here. He tanks the Tesla farm with that golem on bottom. Beautiful job on that. And he's using those wizards. Look at this. Look at this tanking action here. This is really kind of hurting uh, Luke's base here is uh, the golems just picking apart uh, the Tesla farm. Now the heroes and everything going in. Golem is, uh, is destroyed on both sides. They are down to Golemites. Again, that shrink trap doing a number um, up there. Wizards are super small in the whole work. So hopefully that shrink trap wears off pretty soon. And we've got the uh, the king and queen going into the base. Again, guys, you see this island expo, and that could have a double giant bomb around it. You see the double poison spell for the queen and the enemy clan castle. Baby dragon witch combination, and there is kind of difficult to deal with, but all of those skellies will die in the poison spell. Ability used, queen down, expo down, double giant bomb threat dealt with, and now, check this out, 
Queen is going to hop the wall after taking out this Archer Tower, and she is in the clear somehow, coming in pretty much naked without the Golems tanking. Uh, she is going to survive this raid. So, in from the side, the Hog Riders go. Just in time, they get that heal spell down, and uh, they get into it to stay alive. That is beautiful. Cruising around the outside now, we've got, again, maxed Hog Riders from the top left. They are able to, to join up with the main group. Going into that final section and a beautiful heal spell though, covering into the final uh, wizard tower. All the hog riders are pretty much going to survive. They will move into the last little section. All kinds of skellies there, but after the air sweepers down, they take care of it, no problem. And the rest is history, guys. Just clean up the queen. Somehow survives, and I'm sitting here looking at this like, will she get killed by the king? That's the question for me. Uh, she actually survives. I don't know why I watch that kind of stuff, guys, but it kind of uh, kind of makes me laugh sometimes. I, I focus on like a queen who somehow survives the kill squad, and she makes it through. But the Hog Riders finish off the king before the queen gets killed by him, and that is that three star for the good guys. Emiliano getting it done, coincidentally having the Hog Rider episode against the Hog Wars clan. So shout out to you guys in COC Hog Wars. Best of luck the rest of the way. Um, it does look like WHF has a slight lead right now, but a good fight coming from the other squad. We'll see what happens a little bit later on, guys. Thank you for watching this episode. This has been Power Bang, bringing you guys some Clash of Clans action. If you like the video, smack the like button for me, and I will be back in the next episode. This is Power Bang, signing out. I'll catch you guys later.